What's up everybody, it's Smogwell with you and today I'm going to be doing Why Was It Great on Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. So, let's get into this. In my opinion, you know, me, <laughs> I don't know, I've been having, I mean, I don't know man. Donkey Kong Country, you know, the first one in, in my opinion, it's like this, this is how I see it. You know, there's three games in the in the series, you know, it's a trilogy I think it is, right? Um, there was Dixie, wait, there was Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong's Quest, no, Dixie Kong's Quest is third, I think, yeah, you know what I mean, and then there was the fourth one, I think there was a fourth one, I don't know, um, yeah, I think, because I played this one, of course, the second one, uh, with the Diddy Kong, and then, of course, Dixie Kong, you know, when she could fly in the air with the hair, and, so I'm going to review, and, well, both of them, well, uh, fuck, why was it great on those two? So let's start with this one because, <laughs> come on, like, yo, this game, oh man. Uh, me, I been beat this game ever since I, you know, Super Nintendo Mini, like, I beat this game, it was, it was way fun, you know what I mean? I beat this, um, you know, round when I got it. And, yeah. And uh, recently too. So, shows that this is a game that I will go back and play and play. You know what I mean? Because, <laughs> Oh man, where to start? Okay, okay, okay. Number one, let's talk about the characters. You know, in my opinion, you know, you got Donkey Kong, you know, and Diddy Kong, right? Two partners, chill and having fun. You know, me, I like how you can switch in between. It's not like, yo, like, look, you're going to play this one, and this guy's just a sidekick, you know, he's just going to help you. And, you know, you can switch, swap between those two. More like, you know, to give you the idea of, just think about it as in, like, Crash Bandicoot and Sing Trilogy, you know, you could swap between uh, Crash Bandicoot or Coco, but not for every single level, you know, like, um, I, I did both of you on that, and a point I put in is, if it was meant for Crash Bandicoot, it's for Crash Bandicoot, if it's meant for Coco, it's meant for Coco, they still have the uniqueness of that, you know, uh, and, yeah, besides that, you could swap in between for the rest of the game, but, yeah, um, in my opinion, Donkey Kong Country, it's one of those games that I grew up with, you know what I mean? It, uh, it has a special place in my heart when it comes to gaming, and, <laughs> oh, best, it's, I should really do, I was great on the Super Nintendo, and the PS, uh, no, not PSP, uh, Game Boy, yeah, SP was it, and other, these other classic consoles, you know, so th those will be next. You know, try to get all those before this year ends, all in December, because I love December, you know, Christmas time and all that. So, let's talk about this. Donkey Kong Country, in my opinion, it really shines in the bosses. The bosses, let's talk about the bosses. You have King K. Wool. You know, let's talk about the last one too, you know, all of them. King K. Wool, he's great. You know, he throws the crowd, he's like, bah! and then, you know, it was difficult, you know, playing this again in the Super Nintendo Mini. I forgot how hard it was. You know, I had to save in between just to go back and beat him. That was embarrassing. And then I went back. Of course, I was like, dude, I had to beat this, you know. Like, I don't want to, I want to see, like, let me just speed run this shit. You know what I mean? Like, uh, because the last time, well, a little while ago, you know, I beat it, but like, I beat it in uh, that way. So I played it again, and then I did it. Of course, I died, and then tried again, and then did it. Shit, this to be honest, games back then, it it was it was hard, it was challenging, and that's what's what that's what makes it fun. It's because you know, for example, you take a game like Super Mario 64. That's fun. Why? Because you need to go all around each map, and you know, which oh yeah, I did. I was great on that too. But you need to go all around searching this open world adventure game just to find each star. You know what I mean? And each one has their own mission. You know, it's. This is like Donkey Kong, you know what I mean? Like you have to go all these different walls and all that. It's a different design. And I like that, you know. And then my one of my favorites, you know, is when you have like the psychics, like the um, this this uh, rhino, you know, you you go around. He just uh, with the horn and the, and this little beaver, you know, and his ass and uh, whoa, and then the bee and you know what I mean. This uh, alligator, I think he was. And you know what I mean? You just like, boom, boom, and then he's like, yeah. but then the um, snake, no, the snake. No, no, what's the snake? What's it? Shit, I'm, I know, which one was it with the board? No, that was Dixie Kong, I think. 
But my opinion, I mean, my opinion, my point is you could use your friendly animals and then to advance to next levels, and it was fun. Me, you know, ah, uh, shit, because I really want to do that once too. That was great. Donkey Kong, it's one of those games that if you have not played it, man, number one, ask your parents about it. And then number two, ask them, why have you never blessed me? to not play this game and, and you know like this is a must play game for any game dude. like try it out at least uh, that's how much I like it you know it, it really it was one of those games I grew up with one of those games that holds a special place in my heart it's not the best game ever but it's one of the, my favorite games of all time is what I'm trying to say it was fun and the graphics I could deal with you know it's nice it's not like um Final Fantasy 3 but you know what I mean I enjoy it and uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say about this. Why was it great? It was one of those games that you could remember for years to come. You could play it with, you know, later on with younger people in your family or friends. And uh, yeah, I, I really love this game. So tell me in the comments, do you like this game? Is this which one of three do you like? And yeah, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'm, I will do. I was great on the other ones of the series on the two, the Cyclones and Quest and uh, all that. So with that being that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think about the game, and which one's your favorite. Until next time, bye.